Hello and welcome to another Polypedia online tutorial. I'm Iris Mishli. In this tutorial we will create funky, cool and colorful earrings using stencils as our patterns, chalks or soft pastels and embossing powder to mix in our clay. For the project we will need clay in your chosen colors. The clay was blended with embossing powder to give it a granulated look. We will need cutters, stencils, chalks or soft pastels, and a makeup sponge to apply the chalks. After blending your clay with embossing powder, or you can use your clay as it is, we will start printing our stencils. I like to call my stencils quick silk screens because they are so quick to create and they look like fabric. The clay sheets were rolled to a medium setting in the pasta machine. I am taking a white paper sheet to avoid the clay from sticking to my tile, the clay sheet and then placing my stencil. A makeup sponge is used to collect the chalk color. In this case, I chose orange chalk. I'm rubbing the sponge on the chalk and then brushing over the stencil. The open spaces are painted. You can play with the colors and create a gradient design by adding a different shade of chalk onto the sponge. Here I used pink. When finished, peel off the stencil and you can see the pattern on the clay. Repeat this with all your chosen colors and clay. You can use the same stencil or a different one. If you are using dark chalk colors, clean your fingers prior to touching a lighter colored clay sheet. Think about the clay colors that you are using and the chalk colors. You don't want to use dark chalk color on top of a dark colored clay sheet. It is best to play with contrasts. In this case I am using pink clay sheet and black chalk. Remember that you have a pair of earrings, so make sure you have enough clay pattern for both parts. If necessary, peel off and place again. These stencils has an adhesive back, so it is possible to adhere them to the clay. I chose to neutralize the stickiness. Full instructions on how to do that will be included with your stencils purchase. A link is available in the video description. If you don't want your stencils to move while working, attach them lightly with your fingers and they will stick to the clay. Last clay sheet is the gray one. I chose brown chalk with the flower stencil. Sometimes the chalk becomes sticky due to the frequent touch with the clay, so you may need to use a blade and shave off the outer layer of the chalk. When ready, peek or peel off the stencil. cleaning my fingers. Now it's time for the tough decisions. Which layers are going to be combined together? Which one is going to be in the bottom and which one on the top? I chose the larger cutter to be the pink one. So 
So I'm cutting two pieces for a pair of earrings. Release gently. Try not to touch the chalk area with your fingers. Minimum touch. It may remove the stencil pattern and your finger may stain the clay. First layer, bottom one. Second layer, white clay. You can smooth the cut if it's not perfect. And the final one, although the pattern is a little bit big for this cutter size, will be the gray. Looking for the right spot and cutting. Now assembling the earrings. Use liquid polymer clay to adhere the layers one to the other. A dot is all you need. Place the second layer And the last one. If you do need to touch the clay, one touch, not more. Think about the positioning, the whole location, the stringing of the ear wire, etc. A small eyelet is a nice addition to give the earrings and the layers extra strength by attaching the layers together and as a nice finish. You can also add rainstones, beads, whatever you want. And now we are ready for curing. Cure according to manufacturer instructions. I am drilling the holes after the beads are cured. If you want to color the outlines of your borders, you can use chalks and a small eyeshadow brush and go around the bead to create a dark border. You can also color the border with a leafing pen, for example, after baking. That's it! We have finished the project. I hope you enjoyed this video class and you are welcome to join polypediaonline.com mailing list for more freebies and special announcement. You're also welcome to check the links in this video description for the stencils info. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.